The sturdy Witter slot has been lying under the smoke of Amsterdam for over 700 years, surrounded by water and castle gardens. It is one of the oldest and best preserved castles in the Netherlands. Built with one purpose, defense. The castle dates from 1285 and has a long and turbulent history. Wander around and discover how the enemy was thwarted and what life was like in a castle. The Dutch Count Floris V, 1254-1296, had a stone fortress built around 1285, at a strategic location at the mouth of the River Vecht, the main shipping route to the Diocese of Utrecht. During a falcon hunt, Floris V was kidnapped by his own nobles in 1296 and brutally murdered and his castle destroyed. From 1370, the original Mwitter slot was restored and expanded with the residential wing on the Zuiderzee side. In 1576 the castle was reinforced with earthen walls and bastions. Another famous resident was Peter Cornelis Zoanhuft, 1581-1647. In 1609 he was appointed Drost of Mwitten and Bailiff of the Gui land. In that position he lived at the Mwitter slot for 38 years. He gave the castle the rich appearance of the Dutch Renaissance. P. C. Hooft was best known for his many poems, sonnets, letters, and plays, but he also focused on politics and story.
As the Amsterdam's mayor's son, PC was used to many contacts. He lived more lonely in distant Mwiden than in Amsterdam. He sighed in one of his letters, one day is like the other. The company he missed, he often invited to the Mwitter slot. Many friends and guests visited the Mwitter slot, especially in the summer. During the 19th century Romanticism they will go down in history as the Mwitter Ring. This imaginary circle of men of letters, scientists and artists was formed by, among others, Maria Tesselschad Vischer, her sister Anna Romer Vischer and Messrs. Konstantin Huygens, Caspar Barlius, Gerard Vossius, Joost van den Vondel, Hugo de Groot, Lorenz Reel and Dirk Svelink. In 1825 the Mwitter slot was saved from demolition and in 1878 it was taken into use as a Rijksmuseum. After three major restorations, the furnished rooms of the castle and the gardens once again exude the atmosphere of the Dutch Golden Age. The building and the presentation of the medieval special collection of weapons show the importance of the Mwitter slot as a knight's castle of Count Floris V. The important role that the Mwitter slot played for seven centuries in the water defence and as part of the water lines in the defence of Holland is made visible in the Water Shield Pavilion.
The story of the Mwitter slot begins, how could it be otherwise, in the Middle Ages. Floris V ordered the construction of the castle in 1285. He chose a beautiful, strategic point on the river Vecht, near the Zydersee. Floris was two years old when his father, Roman King Willem II, the intended emperor of the Northern European Empire, was murdered in 1256 in his fight against the West Frisians. This made a deep impression on him. The young Floris was taught by the famous writer Jacob van Meerland, who prepared him for his life as a king's son. Together they read about the exploits of Alexander the Great and how he avenged his murdered father. Since then Floris knew what to do. At the age of 12, Floris was of age and could officially call himself Count of Holland. Ten years later he was knighted during a tournament in Den Bosch. At that time, the Netherlands consisted of many small areas, each with its own ruler. A nice challenge for the ambitious knight Floris. He got his hands on several territories, but that was not enough for him. He wanted an honor killing. His father's death had to be avenged. With all his might, 
Floris conquered his father's fatal enemy, West Friesland. He had five forced fortresses built in West Friesland to dominate the people and maintain their power. In Metemblik you can still find part of Radbode Castle, the other four castles no longer exist. Like his father, Floris became a powerful monarch. He ruled the areas that we now call Holland, West Friesland, and Zeeland and had influential allies such as King Edward of England.
Today, the Mwitter Slot is world famous as the most beautiful and best preserved medieval castle in the Netherlands. However, it began its existence as a simple moated castle, four thick walls with corner towers, surrounded by a moat. Over time, the castle acquired its ingenious construction details and exceptional craftsmanship. In its first form, the Mwitter slot was a kind of walled encampment with four corner towers. The thick walls protected the soldiers' war tents in the courtyard. The construction of the original Mwitter slot took less than ten years. That's fast, when you consider that everything was purely handmade. There were no electric lifts or cranes. The thousands of stones, building materials, and tools had to be hoisted up with ropes and pulleys. Drill a hole? Customizing a bar? That took a few drops of sweat with a hand drill, hatchet, or saw. In 1285, construction began on the sandy soil near the river. Sandy soil is a solid, natural surface on which many castles are built. First, the builders laid a stone base of 32 times 35 meters, almost half a football field. Then the thick walls followed, in some places up to 1.5 meters thick. Each corner point was given a round tower that protruded slightly, so that the guards could see the surroundings and the outer walls of the castle from the towers. No enemy could climb up unseen.
In front of the entrance to the castle, where the gardens are now, there was an outer bailey in the Middle Ages, stables, barns, farms and workmen's cottages surrounded by walls. A double moat was built around the castle and the outer bailey. The only way to get into the castle was through the outer bailey, over the wooden drawbridge, through the large gate. The Wester Turin at the back left is the oldest, highest, and most skewed tower of the slot. You have to climb no fewer than 83 steps to reach the top. Striking in the lower tower room are the vertical wooden beams between the walls, which were supposed to prevent the walls from sagging. Despite this, the Wester Turin has sagged quite a bit, last century the tower even threatened to tear off. The moat was then filled in and the entire building was given a heavy cement corset. Since then, the tower has been crooked but sturdy. Hallo, bedankt voor het kijken naar deze productie van JM Productions. Ik hoop dat u ervan heeft genoten. U kunt abonneren door op de logo in de rechte benedenhoek te klikken. Alvast van harte bedankt en tot ziens.